The Olivier Rebeau Award, sponsored by Coca-Cola Company, honors the best news photography from abroad in any medium. The citation goes to Spencer Platt of Getty Images for looking for home. The award goes to Nirman Al Mufti for Yemen on the Edge, published by Associated Press with support from the Pulitzer Center on Crisis Reporting. The jury saw several strong portfolios from Yemen, a country that until last year had been severely neglected by the mainstream medium. Uh, El Mofti's work stood out. We were moved by her clear commitment to the subject, the jurors said, but also by her thoughtful and surprising use of light, color, and framing to capture a conflict zone that has almost always been depicted through a darker lens. The variety of scenes that El Mofti documented, from malnourished children to crumbling infrastructure, the snippets of daily life convey the complexity of a country and a conflict that the world still struggles to understand. Thank you. Um, when I told one of my best friends about this award, the first thing she said to me was, Oh God, what are we going to do about your public speaking issues? So please, <laughs> bear with me. Uh, it's such an honor to be here and be presented this award with the name of a legend in photojournalism. I'm so humbled. This award is for the people of Yemen who were so brave to open up and tell us their stories. We focused on the issue of torture and some of my images will be ingrained in my memory forever. Yet somehow, this was still not the worst I had seen. Famine and starvation. An issue that is plaguing Yemen now. To bring this closer to home, if there are 200 people in this auditorium tonight, almost half of you would be at risk of starvation. If not, already starving to death. Yet in the midst of all this, you see the kindness and generosity of a woman like Hogar, a mother of eight who skips meals for her children to eat while being malnourished herself. All the family has is one loaf of bread and tea every day to share. Hogar refused to let us leave till we had a bite of that loaf of bread. I saw Rida in her, which is Arabic for the highest spiritual form of gratitude, a state many seek to achieve and few rarely ever do in their lifetimes. I really hope that we, the work we did and continue to do can bring some relief and hopefully lead to change, even if only a little. Thank you to OPC and the judges for this recognition. This wouldn't have happened without our team, Maggie Michelle, Mad Zikri, and Lee Keith, who are exceptionally smart journalists. My editors, my mentors, my managers who believed in me, thank you. To my dearest friends, you know exactly who you are who supported me through it all. To my family, I'm nothing without you. And to my father, whose legacy lives on. Thank you.